Welcome back everybody, Matt the Brad here. Welcome to another Christmas special. And today we are talking about the 2000s classic, The Family Man, starring Nicholas Cage, T. Leone, Jeremy Piven, John Cheadle, directed by Brett Ratner. Um, I'm a huge fan of this movie, I love this movie. I love watching it every year. I think this is one of Nicholas Cage's best roles he's played. T. Leone does a great job too. They both have great chemistry. Uh, this is definitely a romance movie, but it's also Christmassy. Uh, most of the movie takes place during Christmas time. Um, this is about, you know, Nicholas Cage's character. Um, wakes up one morning and he has a family. Um, almost like the opposite of It's a Wonderful Life, Mr. Bailey. Uh, then one day he wishes he was never born and then he lives in a world where he doesn't exist. Well, this is the opposite of that. This is, you know, you know he, he tells Don Cheadle one night, you know, I got everything I need. I'm good. And it fires back on him and he wakes up with a family, a, a wife, two kids, a dog, living in the suburbs, you know, the middle class, where before he was the rich upper class, living in penthouses, sleeping with women every night, different women, uh, the, the main man at his company, driving like for, driving Ferraris, now he drives a minivan, Where's my Ferrari? Where's my Ferrari? Ferrari? Let me borrow your car. Oh no. You got a perfectly good minivan out there. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's relatable. Any, anybody who has a family who's done with having two kids, you know, and all that, driving the minivan around, you know, you, you, you get the humor in this movie. But the scene at the mall. Uh, Fine, we'll get a funnel cake. The highlight of my week. I mean, I'm sure parents dealt with that all the time. Like, this is the highlight of my week. This chocolate, this little piece of chocolate cake. Um, you know, if you can take a shit in the in this century, that would be great. Um, uh, I mean, you got Don Cheadle, Jack. How do you know my name? I call everybody Jack. Um, um the, the romance really works in here. Um, it's relatable if you are a fam if you are someone with a family and get, you know, like a little girl. Are you my daddy? Uh, no. Uh, the aliens. They did a really good job. Welcome to Earth. Even by the end, when he goes back to his normal life, you know, being the rich guy in the penthouse, Ferrari, he, you know, it finally dawns on him, like, this isn't the life I want. I want the life that I had, you know. That, as, as Don Cheadle put it, a glimpse into what life could be. And, you know, that speech at the end in the airport, you know, 
We have two hints. Annie and Josh. You know, Annie and Notorious. Josh doesn't say much, but we know what he's thinking. He's always, you know, he's always smiling. We have a house in Jersey. You know, after 122 more payments, it's ours. Um, it's, it's hilarious, but it's also heartwarming and romantic. And even the way they end that movie with them just sitting at a coffee shop, you know, having coffee. Actually, my first film in college, uh, my last shot in my first senior film in college, had a boy and a girl sitting down talking, and it just was a wide shot like you see in The Family Man. And I mimicked that scene from The Family Man for my senior film the other night. For some reason, they were playing that movie in the spring of 2009 on some channel, and it just kind of hit me like, yeah, I want to, I want to like mimic that a, a little bit. The score, the music for this film was composed by Danny Elfman, which you would never think that Danny Elfman uh, did the music for this movie. He's known for a lot of Tim Burton films, Neo Juice. Sleepy Hollow, Batman, or other comic book movies like Sam Raimi, Spider-Man. But yeah, he did the music for this movie. And I love the music. The score for this movie is excellent. So between the acting, the story, the humor, the relatable stuff, and you add the music on top of it, this is definitely a winner. Um, so like this is a great movie. I think it's Brett Ratner's best. I don't think we don't talk about Brett Ratner anymore during the Me Too shenanigan movement. Um, I, you know, and he's the same guy in Rush Hours, the Rush Hour movies, uh, Red Dragon, um, X-Men The Last Stand, and like said, this movie. Um, so, are you a fan of The Family Man? Uh, is this one of your favorite Nicholas Cage movies? Um, this was also a time that John Cena was still fairly unknown. Um, there was before the Ocean's Eleven movies, before oh, Hotel Rwanda, before, way before the MCU. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Is this one of your favorite movies to watch during the month of December? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be putting up these Christmas specials throughout December. So you don't want to miss them. And 